exciting, exciting afternoon. Is everybody excited to be here today? <laughs> Woo! Exactly. Thank you for the, for the whip. So I really wanted, it, it, today is so important and I don't want to miss anyone uh, who's here. So I want to go through a quick list of thank yous um, to those that are here today. We have a fantastic showing and I'm very happy that others uh, are as excited about this project as we are. So uh, when I uh, announce you, just raise your hand so everyone knows uh, where you are. Andrew Dinsmore from Senator Coons' office. Where are you? I know I saw you. Is he, is he busy looking at the projects? That's awesome too. Sylvia Banks, representing Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester, right, right behind me. All right, thank you so much for being here. Um, the beautiful Lieutenant Governor Bethany Harlow. Wow. <laughs> also, the beautiful Representative Stephanie T. Bolden. <laughs> um, we have Matt Myers, where did you get to? County Executive, also. All right, see, when you're behind me, I can't see you. <laughs> also beautiful. Also beautiful, exactly. <laughs> so, we have Cyril Adams, City Council. All right, there you are. Um, Michelle Harley, also City Council. There you go. Looking awesome in orange. Rocking the Dell dot orange. I love it. Um, we have the Dunrec Secretary, Sean Garvin. Right in front of me. Sorry. <laughs> um, our federal highway partners. I saw a few of you. Raise your hands. All right, there you are. I see you, Sean. Um, also, our, on our Council of Transportation, we have Ted Williams. I know I saw you as well right there. Thank you for being here. And then Chief Robert Tracy. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that. So um, what an exciting day today. Um, we've been working on this project for, for quite a while. Um, it is uh, beautiful. Hopefully you got, had a chance to see the video. Um, it is part of our continuing commitment to, to the city of Wilmington. Um, and, and I got to tell you, um, this governor um, is one that I, I haven't seen in a long time who totally, totally gets how important the city of Wilmington is to the state. To the state. Um, so he has made a city of Wilmington a huge priority um, so that means it's a huge priority for Del Dot as well so I thought it would be important to not just talk about this project but to highlight the over one dozen projects that uh, in transportation that we have going on within the city that are in some phase of either planning or soon to be construction over a dozen transportation infrastructure projects people <laughs> that is a fantastic thing that is something that is, is unprecedented uh, for, for the city of Wilmington. And it, again, it just goes to this governor's and this administration's dedication and commitment to, to the city of Wilmington. Um, I, you know, a lot of the people from Del Dot are here. Can you guys raise your hand? There's a lot of pride in this project, you guys. And, and I know you're going to hear more details about it, but these are the men and women that are making it happen. And I'm also very proud that a lot of the, uh, the actual labor on this project are Delawareans. Contractors, where are you? That is, that is a huge thing. That's right, exactly. So we're so happy that, that you guys are here to celebrate this and to break ground on this really important project. Um, and there was, a, you know, it's a $29 million project. There was brownfield money that, that's helping clean up on both sides of the river. Um, we're really excited to, to be able to do that. And again, it's this governor's continued um, commitment to redevelopment of these sites that are just going to let the, let the city continue to thrive and, and be a great place to work, live, and play. Um, so now that I've hyped them all up, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Governor Carr. Thank you very much, uh, Secretary Cohen, and, and welcome to all of you today. It's uh, obvious with all the people represented in terms of elected officials, our congressional delegation, our county executive, our mayor, uh, members of, of city council, people from the business community, that it takes all of us to get important things done. Uh, 25 years ago, there weren't many people that imagined this riverfront to be a center of employment an area that's been redeveloped, a place where people come on a daily basis. I was sitting, having my lunch down here, watching as people strolled along this river walk. 25 years ago, this was a wasteland. I was working at the time as a deputy chief of staff to then Governor Tom Carper, who had taken over a plan for the river's redevelopment, the Brandywine and Christina River, that was uh, done by a committee chaired by our former governor, Russ Peterson, and former president of the University of Delaware, E.A. Trabant. They put together an incredible plan. They dropped it on Governor Carper, a new governor's lap, and said, here it is. We can do a lot of things with it. There weren't many believers back then, I can tell you, because I worked on a staff for the governor that, in, that included maybe one or two other people who thought that we could actually do anything and thought that we should spend the time and money doing so. 
But Governor Carper at the time, Senator Carper now, made it one of his top priorities. And we had a whole list of things that we want, wanted to do. The first thing, of course, was to put together a board, hire an executive director, and that we did that, and that board can, uh, hired, made a great choice in hiring our now mayor, Mike Przicki. A lot of stuff has happened since then. I could go down the list of things that if you had told me 25 years ago that we'd have 2,000 people living here on the riverfront, that we have 4,000 people coming to work here on the riverfront every day, that we had a river walk that extended far down there, all the way around the bend, that we had multiple employers, that we had a IMAX theater here, uh, that we had a whole series of things that if you had asked me 25 years ago whether they would be here today, I, a lot of people would have said, you got to be out of your mind. But through Mike's, uh, Mayor Przicki's leadership, with the support of the uh, members of the General Assembly, Governor Carper, Governor Minner, Governor Markell, a lot of incredible work has been done. The next horizon for riverfront development is over on that side of the river. Today, we're celebrating the unveiling, the ribbon cutting, whatever you do to bridges. Uh, the groundbreaking, thank you. I was Lieutenant Governor, I should know about that. Ribbon cuttings and groundbreakings, we know that. This bridge is gonna be the bridge to the future development of the riverfront. It's the bridge to future economic development here in the city on the south side of the river. Already over the last several years, we've had a lot of businesses approach the Riverfront Development Corporation about that. And I don't know that Megan McGlinchey, who's the new executor, I reckon, Megan. who's doing all the work. And by the way, who did a lot of that work over the last 25 years and continuing on. So I couldn't be more excited to be here as somebody who was there at the beginning when there weren't many believers. You could never get a gathering like this at the beginning when we put the board together and had our limited list of projects uh, till today when we have a vision for the future that's going to be brought to us by the, this bridge. So I want to thank all the people, particularly those at Del Dot who've made a commitment to the city. We're not just celebrating the groundbreaking for this bridge, but there's a whole series of other projects right over in that landing area with uh, Del Dot and the, the federal government's commitment to the city of Wilmington. We have got to do everything we can to revitalize our city, to make sure it continues to be the commercial center of our state. And we're all working together with our new mayor and members of, of uh, city council, the council president, Hanif Shabazz, who I don't think is here. We got a lot of work to do, but Del Dot is really kicking it off. Thank you very much and God bless each and every one. Thank you very much. And this next gentleman doesn't really need any introduction, but he's been with this since the very beginning. And if it wasn't for his tireless support and at the federal level, we wouldn't receive the funding for this. So please join me and welcome Senator Carper. Thanks, Jen. Jen said I didn't need any introduction. Walking, uh, walking down the sidewalk uh, by some people that are here at a uh, center that's a uh, health care uh, center, wonderful place. So a lady came out and uh, she said, uh, you're, you're somebody, aren't you? And uh, I said, well, I'm Joe Biden. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not. You're the governor, aren't you? Well, I said, recovering governor, recovering, recovering. Megan, come out here. Nice round of applause for Megan. Mike here, come out. Come on. Come on out here. Come on out here. Mike here. Mike here, come out here. Give him a big round. Give him a, come on, come on out here. Stand down here. Come on down here. Stand down here, please, please. Come on, come on. One of the smartest decisions that, uh, that uh, I uh, ever made as governor, we made as governor before we had a riverfront development uh, uh, really commission, RDC, to help uh, oversee the, uh, the, the, the dream, the implementation of the dream that uh, Russ Peterson and Archer Bond and their folks had. Uh, was uh, We asked Mike here to come out of DITO, out of Delaware Economic Development Office, and to work on this project. The, uh, a guy named uh, uh, Governor uh, William uh, Donald Schaefer came up from... Uh, 
Maryland. He'd been the mayor of uh, uh, Baltimore when they did the Inner Harbor. He was governor of uh, Maryland when they did the Inner Harbor. And I brought him up here. We walked, literally walked right down here, walked right down by the riverfront. And sort of said, uh, this idea that Archibald and Russ Peterson have, does this make any sense? He said, oh, yes, it does. Makes a lot of sense. You might be able to pull this off. I said, what should we do? Give us some advice. He said, create uh, what later became the RDC, Riverfront Development uh, uh, Corporation or Commission. He said, create that kind of entity with all the movers and shakers from the private sector to the public sector, and you'll be involved. And you'll be involved. He said, get a couple of people from your legislature that are uh, on your uh, bond bill committee, your capital committee, and get them involved and hopefully make sure that they're really excited about this project. And we did those things. And he said, you've got to get yourself just a terrific executive director because you can't do this and you need somebody to help lead the effort. And, and the, uh, so we asked Mike Perzicki to come in and, and ramrod it, and he has. And Mike Hare stayed on board for a number of years. They brought in Megan McGlinchey. The three of them did amazing things. You heard in the sports, he talked about the three amigos. Well, I don't know if we call the three of these the three amigos or migas, but uh, what a hell of a team! And Mike did the uh, Mike uh, Perzicki did the lead, the leading. My job is to try to get uh, 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 an administration for the last six m years I said, served as governor to uh, focus on a, a bunch of things, strengthening families, but also this project, also this project. I told every one of my cabinet secretaries, this is huge. This could be great for Wilmington, great for Delaware, and we're going to pull together on this. The legislature, God bless Roger Roy, a re representative. Uh, Patty Blevins, state senator, who headed up the bond bill committee, they helped us uh, appro appro appropriate about $80 million during my last uh, six years as, as governor to actually acquire the land, clean it up, do all kinds of infrastructure. Uh, Ann Canby, I wrote, a, was with him and their secretary of transportation the other day, and, and she and others at uh, Del Dot just were super supportive of this, super supportive of this. When, uh, when we did the project, as Mike Brzezicki recalling, uh, uh, Governor Carney will recall, when we did the project, we always uh, wanted to have a, a way to get in. We were always trying to figure out how do we make it easier to get in here for people that are coming from north to south, from 13, from 95. And uh, we, uh, it was always a challenge. It was always a challenge. And uh, we worked to get a, about a $20 million earmark, uh, not for a bridge to nowhere, but as the governor said, a bridge to the future for, uh, for the river fund to make this uh, uh, even more real than it had been all, already. And uh, God, uh, God bless Beth Osborne, who was my staff person on the uh, Environment and Public Works Committee. She ramrodded it every day. And I was one of the conferees on the committee. And we got an earmark for about $20 million for this project. And that was 12 years ago. And uh, we waited and waited and waited to get approval from the Federal Highway Administration, get, get the state to, to fund their, their share of the money. And it's taken a long, long time. And we finally got it done. And I got a phone call about a, a month or two ago from from our secretary, cabinet secretaries of, of transportation, and she said, we have a problem with the Coast Guard. There was a problem on a permit, and if we don't get this permit signed off on in the next couple of days, we're not going to be able to do this project. We called the head of the Coast Guard, and we said, ever here at Wilmington, Delaware? Yes. You know, there's a river there called the Christina. Yes. We need a bridge over that river. Yes. And we need a permit from you to uh, build the uh, bridge and to have a, a groundbreaking in about a month. Well, can you help us? And he said, yes, I can. And God bless him and the Coast Guard. We're here, uh, here today. I'll close with this thought. When, uh, when I was, uh, Fred had a wonderful lunch today with our new county executive, Matt, uh, Matt Meyer, and talked a little bit about uh, what we worked on, what John and I had worked on, and the Lieutenant Governor, our cabinet, and the legislature worked on. The eight years I was privileged to be governor, I, I said, uh, for those eight years, uh, we had balanced budgets for eight years. We uh, reduced taxes seven out of eight years. We... Uh, pay down some of our debt. We earned AAA credit ratings for the first time in state history. And, and we, uh, more jobs were created during those eight years than any eight year period in the history of the state of Delaware. That's why we accomplished in eight years. I did not create one of those jobs, not one of them. But what we did is help create a nurturing environment for job creation. And a bunch of the people that are here today and folks who stood in this spot actually in the past, you helped us create that nurturing environment. And that includes uh, transportation. Includes public safety. We have a great new uh, police chief. We're happy to see his wife. Give his wife. What is your What is your first name? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Brenda, you two step out of here. Let's say, give him a nice warm welcome. Brenda, welcome. <laughs> these guys are These guys are new in town, but we want uh, We want them to feel really welcome. We're feel blessed. Them. The mayor's made some great choices so far, and this is These are certainly two of them. So y'all just stand right over there. Thank you Thank for coming. You. They're a big, he's a big part of the, the nurturing environment, too. People want to be in a place where it's safe. 
where the water is clean, the air you can breathe, and all my, many, many other things. I'm thrilled to be here. Happy to be a part of this, and uh, just very grateful to everyone else who's done so much. Folks from Del Dot, the people who are going to help us build, uh, build this baby, and the folks uh, um, who helped him in ways large and small. Thank you. You've done a great job. Let's go do it. Thank you so much. God bless. And now, ladies and gentlemen, ladies, his honor, the mayor of Wilmington, Delaware, Mike Brzezicki. The trouble with following Carper is there's nothing left to say. <clears throat> Even introduces my police chief's wife. I mean, talk about... <clears throat> Welcome, Brenda. Well, I want to tell you a story that nobody can tell, but I, it's, I, I can't wait to tell it. I remember when, um, you know, I've, I've, I've had, we've had five uh, Del Dot secretaries over the years down here. <clears throat> and, so, and, I'm, and believe me, we've had really wonderful people in that role. But um, Jen Cohen came on back a while ago, <clears throat> and then at the end of uh, the Markel term, I heard, I heard that Jen was looking around to go to private industry. And I called Carney and I said, do you know that I just heard that Jennifer Cohen is looking to go somewhere else? And he said, no, I didn't. I said, well, she is. And let me tell you, you've got to stop her. You've got to get going. And, do, and he said, well, I don't know her that well. I said, let me tell you, John, she's a star, and you've got to keep her. And to his credit, to his credit he did it. So uh, thank you, Jim. <clears throat> Let's see my notes. I was writing them back here on my hand back here like this. Um, first of all, you know, talking about this, about this bridge and the value of it, it is, uh, what it does for the riverfront is, uh, is um, hard to describe. A, a, obviously it makes getting in and out a whole lot easier. It makes us accessible to different parts of the area. Uh, but more than that, it, it joins both sides of the river together and it opens up 60 or 80 acres across the way, depending on how you count. And we've got, we've got tremendous plans for the, uh, for the potential of that side of the river. It's really going to be, it's going to be a game changer for us. I mean, I think you, you kind of get a sense of the character of this side, a little more entertainment, living down here in commercial uh, uses that, that um, are good fits to people who live here and work here. And across the way, we can see, uh, we can envision something very similar to what you see at the Navy Yard up in Philadelphia. I mean, just a flat out, really attractive place for people to bring jobs to Delaware. So we're real, ex we're real excited about that. The, um, when I talked about uh, Jennifer, I was really, I was speaking, um, she symbolizes what has just been the greatest partnership that Mike and Megan and I have had over the years with Del Dot. This place could very well be a Del Dot project first, and then I don't want to diminish what we do, but they, they were with us step by step with the RDC, as well as well, Sean Garvin uh, has been Denrick. I mean, there is no way in the world we ever could have gotten anything done without the cooperation from our state partners. They're not only willing, they're enthusiastic, and it's, uh, it's been an extraordinary project. All you have to do is take a look around here as as uh, Governor Carney said. But to me, to me, this place is witness to the power of investment by the state. And I hope the state's always thinking about that when they're thinking about the future. We have to invest to grow. We have to aggress to in continue to invest in our state if we wanna, if we wanna thrive. Uh, Jen reminded me to remind everybody that this is a multimodal bridge, that it's not just for cars, but it's for bikes it's got, it's for pedestrian. I mean, it's gonna really change the way things uh, feel around here. Down at the end of the river, we've got the industrial track, the connector to the industrial track that'll go right through the wildlife refuge. Again, we're gonna have people on bikes coming through here. It's just gonna change, it's gonna change everything we are. Uh, I, wanna, I don't wanna uh, go any farther without recognizing our private sector, our essential private sector partners Buccini, Poland, and Petnero, who continue, continue to be uh, the strong private sector arm of our development. Without them, none of this works. We have really, we've had great partners over the years, and, uh, and no discussion about progress down here 
uh, is, uh, is complete without talking about the Petneros BPG and the many others who are beginning to invest down here. So uh, let me just say this is uh, a magnificent day for us. I can't wait to see this going. We have been thinking about it since about 2003. I think it was 2004 when we went to see Senator Carper and said, Senator, we can't make this, we can't make this exit ramp off 95 work. Can we try something else? And he said, fine, let's redirect it to this. And we've been waiting just because these things are tough to get funded. But it's a game changer, and we are deeply appreciative to all our uh, partners and now in my uh, role as mayor, I'm deeply appreciative of the continued great work of Megan. Um, it's kind of funny, I embarrassingly as can be, uh, they put my name on a plaque on this river walk back about a month ago, and Mike Hare, Mike Hare has uh, got his name on the uh, overlook down there, so the only drama left is what we're going to name after Megan. <laughs> Thanks, good being with everybody. Is that the wrap up sign? Is that okay? All right, so we're actually going to move over and we're actually going to um, throw some dirt. passing through the Justice and Landing neighborhood with residence buildings, including the New Harlan Flats, on our left. As we cross Harlan Boulevard and Hollingsworth Avenue, the IMAX Theater is on our right. We are now at the intersection at Beach Street and crossing into a new, extended South Madison Street. We can see Frawley Stadium just ahead to our right as we cross the new Shipyard Drive. Note the roadside features such as landscaping, transit amenities, lighting, and safe pedestrian-friendly sidewalks and crosswalks. There's a little curvature in the road as we continue southbound. The Chase Center and the Weston Hotel are on the left and parking areas are on our right. As we cross Chase Boulevard, we can see the Shipyard Center on the left and other parking and future development opportunities on the right. These roadways are planned and designed for ease of access during game days, Chase Center events, and also access for all other riverfront attractions and businesses. We've arrived at the new roadway named New Sweden Street. At this point, we will turn left onto New Sweden Street towards the new Christina River Bridge with its aesthetically pleasing design and historic overtones. A new roadway named Peterson Way on the right would take us directly into the DuPont Environmental Education Center. 
continuing straight, we cross over the Riverwalk and onto the new bridge. The 470 foot long bridge has two 11 foot lanes and a 14 foot wide pathway for bikes and pedestrians. We are now on the east bank of the Christina, traveling towards US 13. We approach the new intersection at US 13. A left would take us back into town via South Walnut Street. By going straight, we would access Garsh's Lane and South Bridge. We'll turn right onto US 13 southbound. In about a half a mile, we'll be able to easily access I-495, I-95, and points south.